Man attempted to steal a million dollars in cash, but couldn't because the money bag was too heavy. Let's get into it. Rebel Cash is with us! Please! If you steal $1.2 million in cash and use a gun, come out with your hands up! This is the response you can expect. Sheriff's office, you in there? And they had planned this for six months. They even knew the exact day to hit when the most amount of money was going to be coming in. Um, I was just robbed at gunpoint at my place okay. of work. It was December 1st, 2021, when this cash transport company in Arapahoe County was hit. They collect cash from marijuana businesses around the state, then bring it back to their headquarters. It was a small handgun, maybe a 22, <clears throat> and he cocked it. And we have a ton of cameras in this garage. It will all be on camera. And it was all on tape. The heist recorded by half a dozen cameras. The transport van, stuffed with money, pulls in. A lone gunman, dressed head to toe in black, wearing a mask and gloves, walks in after. He catches the delivery driver by surprise and holds her at gunpoint, forcing her to put over $1.2 million cash into two garbage bags. He struggles with the bags, but then runs off into the night. Man, I thought I was tired. Right? And I nothing, <laughs> nothing like this to wake you up. It was orchestrated perfectly. He knew exactly what he was doing. The way he entered into the garage, the way he went around the van, the way he contacted the victim, the way he ordered the victim around. I mean, it went like clockwork because he knew exactly what to do. Arapahoe County Sheriff Sergeant Brett Kahn oversaw the investigation. Every square inch of his body was covered in black. Who was that gunman who tried so hard to conceal his identity? Turns out the 35-year-old man behind the mask was Devin Aguilar, who'd been a star football player at Colorado's Mullen High School, where he was a second-team All-American. Quick throw, Aguilar, the catch. He went on to star at the University of Washington, setting records for catches and receiving yards. The extra contact afterward. Aguilar got NFL tryouts, including with the Tennessee Titans, although he was never picked up. But how did Aguilar know so much about this business and the piles of cash that he'd find? You don't know anybody that might have been involved in the robbery, right? No. They didn't know. Aguilar had an intimate relationship nice. with Fawn Hoyas, she said. She was the transport business's lead teller, who repeatedly lied to investigators. There's intimate details about this robbery that he would have only obtained from somebody that works here, and that is you. But faced with evidence of her involvement, Hoya eventually flipped on Aguilar, allowing investigators to listen in on a phone call. They know, they know that it's you. Don't worry about it, just let it play out. It's a 100% inside job. Investigators say Aguilar's planning, detailed in notes police later recovered from Hoya's phone, might have worked, except for one thing. He couldn't carry the money, it was too heavy for him. They didn't calculate the weight. You see a million two hundred twenty-four thousand seven hundred eighty-five dollars and thirty-five cents in cash is a heavy lift. But you can see money back there. Yeah, look at that. Unable to carry the cash, the six-foot-one, one hundred ninety-pound Aguilar dropped it seven hundred yards from the business. Does it look like there's a bunch of it in there? Oh yeah, they're full. And the gloves he was wearing that night to protect his identity. He stashed them inside the trash bags. You left your gloves, dumbass. But how would they know that's me? They were placed in the bag and they were sent off and we uh, got a DNA hit. Anything else you want us to grab out of the car? The DNA on the gloves matched with Aguilar, who was also wanted for a burglary in Adams County. He'd later plead guilty to theft and armed robbery for this heist. Prosecutors asked the judge to give Aguilar 15 to 20 years in prison. Instead, Judge Joseph Whitfield sentenced the former football star to one year in county jail and eight years probation. He served seven months and was released September 2nd. We are disappointed in this sentencing. It is not what we believe the suspect deserved, and we do not believe that the victims got the justice that they deserved. Khan says the female victim has severe anxiety and will be traumatized for the rest of her life. People Just to think, this guy received seven months in jail for attempting to steal a million dollars. That's a fair exchange. Now what is going to stop him from trying to attempt something else 
knowing that he just received a slap on the wrist for basically trying to take a million dollars. But the law might not be in his favor the next time because he might receive 15 to 20 years that everybody was pushing for. Let me know what you guys think.